Lokalani and I just built this bonsai Lego tree and it was a lot of fun, but it took a lot of time. And so we tried to keep it up on a shelf where our kids couldn't break it. And one day I find Amos playing with it and I kind of got upset with him. So I look at him and I say, hey, don't play with that. You know, and I pick it up aggressively and I start taking it upstairs and no one can see me at this point. I'm already outside in our garage going up to the studio and I drop it and the pieces go flying everywhere. So I say, okay, I'll just clean up this mess later. I cleaned up half of it. And then later that day, I hear some little footsteps behind me. And here comes Amos holding the rest of the handful of Legos in his hands. And he said to me, dad, why are your pieces all over the ground? And I hung my head and I said, I dropped it. And he looked back at me and he said, Dad, I'm really sorry that that happened to you. He was so merciful to me when I didn't show him mercy, when I was rude to him. And he just melted my heart. It made me just want to show mercy, not only to him, but to people around me. It was so convicting because this next episode that I've been studying for is on Matthew 5, 7, which is, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. It's a promise from God that he will be merciful to us as we show mercy to others. Because the natural response of a person who has received God's mercy is a merciful heart. Now there's gonna be people in your life who you don't wanna show mercy to, people that you don't necessarily like, and it's hard for you to not give them what they deserve, which is what mercy is. But to have the strength to do it, you have to look to Jesus because he was the one that never really needed mercy because he didn't do anything wrong. He was always in the right. But also on the cross, he was shown no mercy. Those who crucified him were horrible to him. They treated him with such physical pain and such hate in their hearts. It was a disgusting thing to watch. But on the cross as well, the wrath of God was poured out onto Jesus. Every last ounce of the wrath of God that we deserve was poured out to him. And Jesus was a, a person that always showed mercy to others. So the more we look at his life and what he's done for us, the easier it is for us to be merciful to others. Amen. Hey, thanks for coming on this ride with me. If you want to learn more about mercy, how God is merciful to us, and how we can be merciful to others, our next episode on Amen Podcast, like I said before, it's called Mercy. Check it out. Spotify, Apple, YouTube, wherever you listen to podcasts. And I'd love to see you over there. See you in the next one.